The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie comes out this weekend, and it's clear that the masses cannot wait. Today in studio, we have an expert talking about what makes us want to see this big blockbuster comic book movie so bad. Please help us welcome an expert at pop culture and Professor Julian C. Shambliss. How you doing, man? Hey. Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. We're doing great here. Uh, why do you think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise has lasted so long? Uh, it's all about the fact that it brings together so many different demographics. It's uh, kid friendly, it's urban, it's a lot of action. Mm -hmm. uh, it just works so well for so many different people. Yeah, now Marvel comic book company historically, but is working really well as a movie company now. Why do you think it's so successful? Again, they're able to pull from really 75 years of stories and they yeah. pick the best parts and update them for uh, a movie audience. And of course, now with special effects, you can make those superhero stories make sense. I mean, they look story. amazing now. I was yeah. a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Me fan. Me too. Jessica yeah. was too, yeah. Um, so another thing, you were at Comic-Con, right? I was. So you have some exclusive info uh -oh. about <laughs> movies that are coming out. He's like, no pressure. He's Give like, us some stuff. Give us some spoilers. Well, I think the buzz, <laughs> I think the buzz from Comic-Con is about, uh, you mentioned it before, uh, what's going to happen with Superman, Batman, Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill were there and they had the big stand up and they saw the first mm -hmm. pictures of Wonder Woman. And of course, Marvel is hinting at their new film. So a Black Panther movie is what people are expecting. There's been a huge buzz around a fan film that just came out recently that's gotten 10,000 uh, views that's all live action so it lets people know there's a lot of pent up demand for a Black Panther movie and we also expect to see a Doctor Strange movie coming out so these are things that people have been looking for and I think these are things we're probably going to see. That's well they, awesome. they made a big move to like turning Thor into a girl what do you think about that? Well you know Marvel's been really upfront about trying to reach out and make their characters look like the world at large so a female Thor which is not really unheard of in history of the, of the, of the comic. There mm -hmm. have been other people that have wielded the hammer, but a female Thor makes a lot of sense in terms of the demographics right now. They want to get more female readers, so they're right there with a female character. I wonder who they would cast as a female right? Thor. Do you think they need like a, a, a big star to, to be that in these Well, movies? you know, they really um, aim towards really well-respected actors to be in the movies yeah. and really people on the precipice of being super famous. So you see that with Chris Pratt, someone that people knew, someone that saw his talent and so they elevated him to the the, the role of star lord so i would expect you to see an actress that has a real uh track record mm -hmm. and and talent if they if they do go with a female thor in in the movies i hear we're also we might get a spider woman too is that right do you, what do you hear about oh, we that the chick chicas are just yeah, killing it, killing it. Girls well you know they haven't now. talked a lot about the spider woman in mm -hmm. in terms of marvel movie of course Marvel doesn't own the rights to Spider-Man, so there's a huge constellation of movies coming from Sony. So there's a lot of villain movies that are coming out. There's the first one up is probably gonna be villain-centric, so a Venom movie is what they've been talking about in terms of developing the script. And there's an assumption that there's gonna be a Black Cat movie, which is another oh, wow. Spider-Man villain. Oh, okay. wow. Busy out there. Busy. All right, so, so you know, speaking of big movies mm -hmm. and all of that, uh, we're going to play a little game. We're going to play a clip from some popular movies, oh. and you have to guess who the superhero or comic book character is and which movie it is. It is. Oh, so, face okay. Front. You guys oh, got to yeah. face front yeah. because if not, you'll see. Okay, so you guys and ready? Don't cheat. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no, no. It's you two. I'm not cheating. I'll be oh, hosting. Oh, you're hosting? Yes, I'll be oh, hosting. Oh, man. Okay, here I, we took, go. I took the role. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and play the first one. Let's see. <laughs> Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Who is it? That was that's, too easy. That's Iron Man, right? It's Iron Man. That's yeah. the Avengers movie. Look at Whoa, he even got specific on him. <sighs> All right. <laughs> With who? Who is it? Uh, that's Chris Pr uh, no, that's no. Robert uh, Downey Jr. Chris, uh, Chris Evans and playing Captain America and Robert Downey Jr. playing. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Such a wow. show off. Got it. All right, what's the next one? Let's hear it. He'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? Oh. He'll be a god to them. The host role. <laughs> All right, who is that? No. Uh, who that's is that? Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Yeah, that's okay. the Superman. That's, uh... Okay, let's do one more. Do we have one more? Mm. All, All right, right, let's check one it out. More, right, one, one more, one more. Okay. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't paint. Man. <laughs> The first Iron Man. That's too easy. That was easy. That was easy. That's but really you got them all. That's amazing. 